Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. Now, yesterday, the NCAA announced a new policy allowing student athletes to monetize their name, image, and likeness. Today, the U of A announced a program to help Wildcats do just that. Now, on your side, Rogelio Mars is live outside McHale Center. And Rogelio, not every U of A athlete will qualify. Pat, that's right. There's lots of student athletes right now across the country uh, taking advantage of this rule change. However, it only currently applies to students who are uh, student athletes who are uh, United States citizens. They can put the ball in the hoop. Presa for three. Now student athletes can start putting money in the bank and the University of Arizona is ready to give them an assist. The U of A announced it's launching a new program to help student athletes with this process. It's called Arizona Edge. And the university says it will teach student athletes how to negotiate deals and be aware of intellectual property laws, among other topics on the issue. I think it's a great thing. I mean, there's a lot of unknowns, but I'm 100 percent supportive. And like I said, I, I think Tucson and the University of Arizona are going to be very well positioned in that market. Wildcats' latest recruit, guard Justin Kyer, who came to Arizona by way of Georgia, took to social media to announce his intent to get into the market, though he reiterated basketball remains a top priority. Not only, you know, with that with that brand stuff, um, it's about, you know, what we're going to do here on the court. He says he hopes to build business alongside relationships. And hopefully build some bonds and, and build some contacts that I'll have for the rest of my life. Foreign-born athletes like Wildcats guard Kirk Risa from Estonia are not eligible to build a brand because of their visa status in the United States. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I guess I just have to see how my teammates get rich. Wildcats center Christian Coloco, who was born in Cameroon, calls it a tough place to be. It is frustrating, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, we can't do, we can't really do anything right now, so we just have to do with what we got. And, yeah. So here's where we get into the weeds. According to a report by ESPN, foreign-born athletes who perform at the professional level, think NBA, NFL, MLB, those kind of uh, athletes, are eligible for a visa to get paid for their talents. But U.S. federal immigration laws limit that visa to individuals who are in the country solely for the purposes of performing at a specific athletic competition, which just so happens that visa to exclude enrollment as a student in the United States. For now, reporting live on campus at the University of Arizona, Rogelio Mades, KGUN 9, on your side.